The Code Hard Truth. Fighting bad programming one error at a time. Hey, welcome in. So today what we're going to be talking about is how to set your media player objects to play audio that you have in external storage. So I went ahead and I created a voice note. It's called hih.m4a and it's stored on my device here. And I want to figure out if I wanted to create a media player object and have it play, how can I set this audio within it in order for it to run? So the first step is to figure out where exactly this is on your device. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S6 here, but you're able to pretty much do this on any Android device uh, if you navigate to where the file is. So in my case, I go to the home screen, I hit apps, and then tools, and then this screen will come up. And from there you go, my files, audio, and there's my file right there. If I hold it down, and you click on this little more tab on the right, it'll bring up a screen that says details. You hit details and it's gonna show you a bunch of information about the file, including the file path, which tells you where this file is located on your device. So in my case, uh, this is gonna be the path right here. Now, how do we get that within Android Studio and then again, set it to the media player object? So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to create a media player object and then parse a file that's going to contain uh, the path to where your audio is. So for the first step, let's just make a string. We'll call it voice note path. And then we're going to use this class called environment, which basically will give you access to your device external storage. And there's a number of static methods that we can use along with the class, but we're going to specifically focus on get external storage directory method and then the get path method. And then finally, we're going to append exactly where our file is located. In this case, it's in my voice recorder and this is what it's called. So we have a log statement here that's going to show us exactly what path this produces. And then next, we're going to create the file. We're going to instantiate it using this path. And then we're going to have another log statement that's going to show us whether or not this file actually exists and if it can be read. And then finally, we're just creating a media player object here and we're initializing it with this as the context and then we're going to parse the path that we initially created here. And then all we do is just start and the audio should play. So let's hit run and see what happens. So we get an exception here, and the exception is saying that this media player object, when you call start on it, it can't start because it's trying to invoke the start method on a null object reference. Now, why is it null? Let's scroll up to some of our log statements here. And here they are. So for the first one, we're just going to look at the path that we created. And this comes from this environment class dot external storage dot get path will produce this first part right here. And then we append exactly which folder we're going to go into and what file we need, which is going to be right here. So that file path looks correct. It's exactly where our file is kept. So why isn't it playing? Well, if you look at this next log statement, we're checking to see if the file actually exists, and it does, and if it can be read, and it can't. Now, why can't it? Well, first and foremost, we need to add a permission to the manifest file, which is going to allow us to read from external storage. So let's hit run and see if that works now. Nope. Now, the reason for this is since Android 6.0, if you're targeting API level 23 or higher, as a developer, you basically have to have the user give you permission to go access the external storage on their device. So you basically have to add a little bit of code here which is going to ask the user if it's okay for your application to go inside of their internal storage and read some data. So we're going to include this method right here, uh, which is coming from this website, from the Android developer site, on requesting permissions at runtime. And basically, there's two types of permissions, normal ones and what Android deems to be dangerous permissions. Reading someone's drive is deemed to be a dangerous permission. So then again, you have to ask the user for the right to go in there. This is the piece of code right here that's going to create an alert dialog and ask them whether or not we can do this. So if we add it to the code and we hit run, this alert dialog is going to pop up. We'll hit allow. And now when we run the application, as soon as the onCreate method is called, the audio will play. And if we go to our log statement, we're going to get, does the voice exist? True. And can it be read? It's also true. 
So I'm going to provide a link to this developer site below and hopefully now you know how to access external audio on a user's device and set it to a media player object. Thanks for watching.